Hey Leo, Mariah here. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're well. I hope you don't mind lucky in the background, kicking it with us and just hanging out for a little bit. So I want to get into your love reading. Of course, we're mid-November, but this just feels like I want to do a check-in for the Leos that are just curious what's going on or what's happening, right? You're just kind of curiosity is kind of peaking your interest right now. So let's take a look, Leo. Let's see what is let's see what is going on in your love life so spirit guides okay before i even get a chance we have very soon clearly decided what you want so that it comes to you now okay i don't know if it's gonna focus but there you go so we got very soon so what is this all about hmm are we waiting for our love life to finally be in the upswing are we waiting for something to happen what is what is this very soon about it's very vague so let's i'm not even gonna assume or guess let's take a look let's see what is going on here with this very soon so spirit guides angels ancestors for leo tell me what is the present energy surrounding leo when it comes to their love life and let's actually take this out to the end of the year right because we're already pretty much through november halfway which is crazy it's so crazy November is literally wrapping up. How was your 2023? You know, did you get to do some of the things that you wanted to do this year? Did it turn out to be the year that you wanted it to be? You know, wanted it to be and how you expect it to be? I'm, I'm curious. So let me know, Leo. So out the gate, we got the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Now, mind you, the Six of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. Huh. Six of Swords in the reverse. I think this comes back to you. If, if I'm just, you know, if I'm being as candid as possible. I think this comes back to you, Leo. You may be in a state right now where... I feel like this is leaning towards my single Leos, if I'm just being honest. So let me just make that notice known. Um, you may have either recently or just maybe in the past gotten out of a connection or out of a relationship that was like a false victory, right? Maybe we thought it was going to move us towards the Ten of Pentacles, but it fell flat. It fell short. Now it feels like we're in the space of where we may be okay with where we're at in life or at least we have what we need right that's the most important thing maybe we have the things we need maybe there's still things we're striving towards that we want but when it comes to being able to have the life we desire we would love to share that with somebody and i think the person maybe we had in mind that we wanted to share our life with it just either they weren't putting in the work maybe there was some inconsistency here they couldn't maintain that energy they couldn't keep the energy they couldn't keep the mutual reciprocity they couldn't keep it going you know maybe they would come in your life when they wanted attention and then bounce when they got enough of it and it may have left you feeling like well what the hell what's what's going on what i thought we were moving in the right direction what the just happened you know putting questions in your mind but I like seeing very soon because you have your eye on the prize, no matter what may have happened in your love life. The Ten of Pentacles is here. So it feels like, and I don't like to use the word guaranteed because nobody in life is guaranteed anything. Nobody in life is promised anything. But I, I do think this is a promise to yourself or at least some form of pact that you made with yourself, an oath, that you will end up having the not only the life but the love that you desire. So. I want to see who or what is in your energy or maybe who's coming your way for Leo. Let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Who or Okay, we got the justice. Could be somebody with a with Libra pro <laughs> Libra placements or is a Libra. Let's see what we got here. So we got the justice, the eight of swords in the reverse, and the page of wands. Eight of Wands in the reverse. I don't think you know this person. Or at least you haven't. Yeah, the, oof. The lover's in the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is in the reverse on the bottom. I don't think you know, I don't think you've known this person. I don't think you've met this person. I don't think you've come across paths with this person. But it almost feels, because right sandwiched in between that lover's is the Seven of Wands. It just feels like spirit has energetically blocked or delayed this person from coming into your life. 
I'm very curious as to why. Let me ask. Let me let me just kind of be a little nosy here for a quick. Give me a second. Why has this energy been blocked from Leo? Why has it? Why has the love that they desired been blocked from them being able to receive it? Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, High Priestess in the reverse, and the King of Pentacles. I did a video not too long ago and I was giving the example of you're always on the right path. However, sometimes in life we get caught up on like side missions or side quests that we have to deal with in life and we tend to maybe stay there on that path a little too long, longer than we need to. That prohibits us from getting back on the right path so that way we can go towards the desired outcomes we want. That's what this reminds me of here, Leo. We may have been caught up with the wrong person, the wrong people, uh, the wrong relationship, being in the wrong environments for a little bit longer than what we needed to. And even though we may have gotten rid of those people or that person or that relationship at that time, we were still stuck in that same energy waiting for something new to come in, but yet we really didn't make much changes to our outcomes or our circumstances to get the kind of love that we desired. So it just feels like Leo, we may have been caught kind of in a perpetual loop, even if we weren't really aware of it or cognizant of it, we were. It was like being caught in a perpetual loop. I feel like you've broken free from that. And it whether you've broken free through changing your standards, maybe you've broken free through really implementing and standing, setting your boundaries, setting your non-negotiables, whether this is maybe changing your requirements of what you're looking for, you've done something here that has now aligned you appropriately with the type of person that you're seeking, which brings me back to this energy. Again, I feel like this is somebody that is new, that is balanced, but it's like your karmic justice. And I look at karma in a certain way, right? People, when they hear karmic relationships, we tend to think, oh, negative or toxic or heavy lessons we have to learn. But I, that's not always the case. Sometimes relationships can come in the form of good karma, meaning the good karma that you've given out or put out to the world, you're getting that back, right? How some people say, well, what you put out is what you give. Well, I look at karma as like your karmic bank, right? Some people are bankrupt where they've put out a lot of negative karma and now they're not really receiving positive karma back into their life because they've spewed so much negativity out in the world. That's all they're getting back. And then you have some people that really try to live a life of integrity and try to do right and try to be an upstanding person in the best way that they know how and give out good energy and give out good karma by doing things and being there or being of service, however that may look for you. And you get that back in return. And that's what this feels like. Somebody who is like your karmic, your karmic reward? Oh, I feel, I feel like now it's not like one of the tarot readers that's like, that start going off to the side for real. But really, with that justice, this is like somebody that's like your karmic reward. Like finally, like, okay, I got the lessons. I had to sit in my period of solitude. I had to really sit with myself and not deny my intuition, but really listen to it and make changes in my life that I needed to make. I've gotten rid of this bad relationship or I'm not hanging on to this past ex. I'm not around these environments that aren't healthy or that isn't in alignment with the kind of person I would want to be with where they would be. It's like you've made adjustments to now receive somebody that actually is going to have a lot of interest in you. Can you tell me, if I can shuffle, can you tell me what is this person's intentions towards Leo? What is this person's intentions towards Leo spirit? Let's get one more. Ooh, we got the King of Cups. We got the King of Cups. We got the Devil in the reverse and we got the Nine of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. So this person is emotionally available. They're emotionally available. They're ready. This is somebody who is emotionally intelligent, but they're not unrealistic. You know, this isn't like somebody that is going to come in hot and heavy and love bomb you and promise you the world or, you know, give you show you a certain side of them that they can't maintain, you know, like that honeymoon phase. And then after a couple of days or a couple of weeks or after you guys get intimate with each other, now they start falling off by the wayside. Uh, this is somebody that's in a stage of their life. I think they've been there and done that, especially with the devil in the reverse, where they've had the artificial or superficial relationships. They've had the relationships maybe based off lust or sex or based off some form of utility. And they're at a space where they've evolved past that. This is somebody that is mature and they are seeking real companionship. 
but they they really care more so about compatibility on all different levels not just the physical not just the financial it's just are you somebody that i can really not only view and see and value as my friend but i can value as my partner to go through the ups and downs through life with and this is somebody that is mature enough emotionally in in their life where they're ready to take that on so let's see how will you be feeling about this person leo I keep wanting to say karmic bank. So, so uh, what have you done? That's what this makes me want to ask you, Leo. What have you done to have your karmic bank increased positively? We got the Ten of Wands. We got the Sun. And what else do we have? We have the Knight of Pentacles. I like it. I like it. You know what this... <laughs> <laughs> you know this reminds me there's this meme that's online um and it's like I, I i can't remember how it goes verbatim but it's to the no it's to the tune of like when i when i find my future husband or i find my future wife i'm gonna be pissed off because why why did you have me out in the streets for so long <laughs> that's what this reminds me of like just getting pissed off not and not literally being pissed off but getting pissed off at this person because why did it take you so long to come across my path why did it take you so long to find me why did it take you so long i've been out here looking for you i've been out here in my single season i've been out here trying to do right or trying to be the best man or woman that i need to be for myself but also for my partner so that way they can get the benefit of it and still nothing where the hell have you been this whole time where ha I just that's what but it's it's a cute it's a cute light-hearted thing you know and that's what this ten of wands reminds me of here as far as your feelings towards them because it's like you had to bear the burden of having to go through the process of kissing frogs you had to go through the process of making changes you had to go through the process of aligning your boundaries your standards your non-negotiables and then probably even still after that sitting in a season of having to wait and be patient and then finally when this person comes in it's like it took you forever you could have came in three months ago six months ago a year ago two years ago four years ago but now you want to come in it's like it's but it's lighthearted though and with that lighthearted energy the knight of pentacles is here because that's the one thing when you've been in your own season for some time it is a little tough to reacclimate back into a connection or relationship so i think for you leo you don't want to you know jump out into the sea and just immediately dive head first i think you are pacing yourself because you you just want to make sure it's the it's the real deal especially if you've had to do the work on yourself you had to wait you had to kiss your frogs you don't want all of that work you've done on yourself to come unravel by just immediately hopping into something just because this person is coming correctly and they are coming in the way that they need to so i see you pacing yourself but it, there's that like kind of wicked funny energy around you just like where the fuck you been <laughs> this entire time so i want to see how does this how does this unravel as we go into 2024 for you leo so very soon i like this i like seeing this so i do think leo you got somebody coming in um and i think you're just gonna take your time with it i think you're gonna take your time with it i think you're gonna get to know them i think you're gonna get to understand them just like they will with you uh I think you're not going to easily allow somebody to come in and unravel all the work that you've done. So I do think you are being protective of yourself in a healthy way, right? This is healthy boundaries. And that's healthy boundaries that you develop through self-love, of, of taking the time for yourself to further love yourself. So that way, anybody that comes in, they have to, they have to meet you where you stand with yourself, right? So if you have the season of having to go through all these experiences, you've learned, okay, this is how I want to be treated and you've treated yourself that way, right? So through showing yourself the own example of how you want to be loved, it's like if you're coming into my life, either you have to meet me at the baseline of where I've been treating myself, if not better. And if anything comes underneath that, I don't want it, right? I would rather just continue to go on about my merry old way. So let's see. We got the five of swords, seven of cups in the reverse, and we got the six of swords. Bottom of the deck is you. The strength. Why is the seven of cups here? The two of cups. And the king of wands right underneath that. 
I'm hearing the word stress test. <laughs> I hope that's not you. And I don't think it's them just because they're coming through as this king of cups. This might be a stress test that <laughs> God. This might be a stress test that you put this person through uh, a little bit here, Leo. And nothing too crazy, but what I mean by a stress test, this is like I think you are wanting to make sure that this person isn't just here for a good time and not a long time, that they're not just here for the sex or just here to get your attention or they're not here as, you know, using you as a rebound or maybe they got some life stuff going on and that's why they want to deal with you. So I think for you, Leo, because you are playing it, um, I don't want to say cautious because cautious can start to streamline into fear. I think you are being protective of yourself. I think there are things you are going to observe and watch from this person to make sure that they're just not here to take what they can get and leave. That they're not just here to, you know, for a good time and not a long time. And then once they have their fill up, they're out. That's where I, that's what I mean by stress test here a little bit. I think you're going to really see how this person shows up for you and really see how they are serious about you, right? Especially when life circumstances come up. Are you going to run or are you going to stand by my side? Are you are we going to figure it out or are you going to become argumentative or combative or defensive or shut down or close off? You know, if I'm bringing a concern or issue to you, how are you going to handle that? It's like that. That's what this reminds me of. But I like it because despite what you may kind of put this person through a little bit here, there's going to be a clear certainty on their end that they do want you because it's coming up with the king, king of uh, wands and you too. Because it's the two of cups with it. So it's a mutual. It's a mutual thing. I think you're going to see that even whatever you throw this person's way, that they'll prevail. That they still want to move this forward. That they actually want harmony with you and that they don't want to argue. They don't want to fight. They don't want to deal with combativeness. They don't want to um, shut down or turn silent or become avoidant. It's like this is somebody that's going to deal with things head on with you. So as all connections, even at the beginning, that may have their road bumps, speed bumps. How do we handle the little things? And if we can't get through the little things at the beginning, we for sure can't get through the big things. And I think even the little things that you may go through with this person at the beginning, both of you have the desire to overcome it, which is going to allow you to overcome it. So I see this somebody being somebody that you move as you go into 2024, somebody that you'll end up dealing with going into the new year. So whether you meet this person now in November, maybe you just met this person, somebody you meet in uh, December, or it could be somebody you meet at the top of the year because it's very soon. So very soon really doesn't have a timing on it. It's just very soon. Everyone's very soon is going to be different. But I, I, I do like this energy, but I keep wanting to go back to karmic, kar your karmic bank. This is like something from your karmic rewards, your karmic bank, what you've done right the things that you've done karmically is coming back to you in tenfold but also to the actions you had to take in your day-to-day -day life to make space for this good karmic reward is now allowing you to receive this so leo i look forward to seeing what happens between you and this person i mean good luck good luck you know i wish you well so i'm going to leave this here leo you be well you take care and bye